Hello fellow seekers. I'm Christiana and this is Universal Healing Tarot. Today we are going to be discussing the energies that will be coming in with the Cancer Full Moon Eclipse. It is occurring on January 10th, 2020. So this is my second go around, guys. The first video it was probably a little rough, a little long too. I'm gonna try and get through it a little bit quicker, but it was really weird. It, it, it was really weird. So we'll, hopefully this one will go better. All right, so I'm just gonna jump into it. We're gonna start by talking about math, right? Math is the language of the universe. And so most of us don't know the language of the universe, right? That's for mathematicians. That's for the, the uh, physicists and quantum physicists and such to kind of um, figure that out. And um, that's super interesting. I wish that uh, I was so inclined, but no, not so much. But I do know some words and letters and what they sound like and what they stand for, right? You know, so that's how the universe tries to talk to us. Very simple, like, you know, check please, right? We can all say that or just please or bathroom. You know? <laughs> we know the basics and that's the same thing with um, the, the numbers and so the universe tries to speak to us this way and that's why they give us the same ones over and over again um, and when we see synchronicities it's a message right so for those who have been following me for a little bit you know that we've been seeing some synchronicities as far as the date and times of these full moons new moons etc right this one is no different all right so we've got the 10th day, 1-10-2020, right? And then it happens at 2.21 p.m. with 10 seconds, right? 2.21-10. This is Eastern Standard Time, which is what I've been seeing these synchronicities in. And I don't usually use the seconds, but I happened to start mine a little bit early before my regular astrologers had posted their videos about it. And um, the one that I came across happened to have the uh, seconds included. As you can see, we have tens here. One ten. If we take out all the zeros, we have 11, 22, and 22, 11. Mirror images of each other, all right? And we, both, we all know, those who have been following me, probably those who have been uh, watching anything that had to do with Twin Flames, it's been a big deal here lately. And so I feel like this is a message, as far as that goes, if you don't, um, identify with that, that's okay. This is still the initiation of gaining a balance, which is what we're doing this year. If things are coming back into balance and um, the synchronicities don't stop there. So we have the moon in Cancer, at home in Cancer at that, at 20 degrees. We have the sun in Capricorn at 20 degrees. We have Mercury in Capricorn at 20 degrees. Capricorn, um, I mean, the sun and Mercury are opposing the moon. Yeah, this is the masculine and the feminine. Uh, Mercury is the trickster. We also have Mars aspecting all of this at five degrees, which is change. So the trickster being in there, Mars being in there, plus we have um, two days later, another two, um, Saturn and Pluto making their conjunction, but they are already at 22 degrees, both of them, um, at the time of this eclipse. <sighs> so <laughs> 
that is a lot going on. Plus we have um, a couple other planets in, or no, one, one other ca um, planet in Capricorn, and I can't remember what it is right now. But also, I think it's the North Node, one of the nodes, which is about, you know, the destiny, right? Our destiny or our past. Either way, it's very destined, all of this. A few days later, or, you know, in the following days, we do have some stuff going on with Venus going into Pisces and um, some aspects there, but it's too much to get into right now. You know, Pisces is all about spirituality, right? And Venus is entering into its spiritual love, guys. Um, but we, I'm gonna make a whole nother video on that next week. It's so the next Saturday. Subscribe, comment, share, like, if you, if you resonate with all of this. If you wanna hear that, go ahead and do that. Um, at any rate, all right, I'm getting excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make another video on that because there's just so much going on. Um, aspects, aspects. All right. Oh, yeah. So I had added up all the twos and all of this. Not include, you know, just with the eclipse. Seven. Seven twos, um, which is a spiritual number, right? Spiritual balance. It's this it, it's destiny, guys. I, I don't know how else to to go about it. Um all right, so I'm gonna stop with all the synchronicities there. I think that's enough. There are more with this Venus. Um, Uranus, I told you what it is, it's a, um, set, sesqu, I, I can't remember what it is, we'll talk about it later, at any rate, <laughs> so there are more synchronicities with that, but we'll, we'll get into that the, next week, um, the energies, they are going to be rough, you know, Things are going to be chaotic. There is going to be confusion, conflicting um, feelings and and just signs and everything's going to seem very like up in the air and unsure. Um, just know that it's all for serving a purpose. This is spirit working here and that's one of the reasons why I think we're getting all these synchronicities and um, they're trying to let us know that to keep the faith keep the dream alive <laughs> um, it, it all is serving a purpose so keep that in mind as you're going through all of this you're gonna be telling yourself stories um, because of the trickster mercury in the mix um, there could be some blow-ups. Just know that some of the things, some of the fights that you get into, some of the things people say, it's probably misplaced. And it's probably, they probably don't really mean it. It's just these, these energies are just gonna, they're, they're gonna be really hard to deal with, I think. So keep the light-hearted attitude. Keep it in mind. Do meditation, um... Just be, just be watchful. Be watchful of your emotions. Be watchful of your words. And get through it. Let's see what uh, the cards have to say now. Thanks, guys. Hello, my gorgeous Geminis. I hope everyone is doing well. If you did not watch the intro, I highly recommend it. <laughs> Um, I don't particularly like getting, uh, in front of the camera, but I thought the information was interesting, and I know you'd rather look at my face than the, my hands, so, um, yeah, just throwing that out there. If you're not interested, just a quick rundown of the energies, 
They are turbulent, they're chaotic, they're heavy, emotional. Um, watch your emotions, watch your words, Gemini. Um, if you feel your temperature rising, make sure you pull yourself out of the situation so that you can cool down, all right? Um, sorry, I got distracted with a cat there. Um, yeah, and stay lighthearted. That's going, you know, look for the magic for the magic, stay lighthearted. That'll help you with these energies. Whoops, okay. They don't wanna go like that. Okay, let's just get some energies for you. For Gemini, please. For Gemini. The collective of Gemini. What should the collective of Gemini, okay, there we go. The guardian at the gate. So this is all about, oops, let me get this straightened out just a little bit. Sorry guys, no, that's not the best. Okay, this looks, ay ay ay, I'm sorry. Sorry, Gemini. Just trying to get this straightened out here. Okay. All right. There we go. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So the guardian at the gate. This is moving from one stage of life into another. So it's a new beginning. Um, and this can be so many things. I mean, like this can be as simple as a new job, um, moving to a new town, or it could be, you know, even it could be um, a new spiritual level, a new dimension. You know, it can, it can be a lot of things. But this is like moving, and this is angelic. You were being guided here. This is um, very, it has a destined kind of feel to it, right? So, big change up ahead, a, a big new start. Let's see. Let's see what else comes out here. For Gemini, please. For the collective of Gemini. Best messages for the highest good, please. For Gemini. The full moon eclipse in Cancer. January 10th, 2020. What messages? Oh. That's, oh. Okay. <laughs> and I've got to um, take that one because... Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's really nice energy for my Geminis. We've got the here and now, staying present. Um, 44, which is a master number. The thinker, hello. And imagine. <clears throat> so yeah, this is um, making sure that you're staying present, right? Not going too far into the past or the future, but staying present in the here and now and finding all of, you know, that magic, the magic in the everyday. And, it, you know, that's obviously very important for you. And then we have the thinker, right? And that's Gemini. And what does Gemini do? Um, I know because I am a Gemini. So anything I'm saying at this point on, believe me, I am empathizing <laughs> with you. This is not judgmental. This is, I know this firsthand. Um, we overanalyze, right? 
we go through all the past and we you know and we think about how to build our future what and all these things about how our past is going to get in the way of the future and and oh how can i do this when i haven't done that and you know i know we drive ourselves crazy with this stuff and that's why you know, and your mind is beautiful, right? That's what the last reading was about, was that you, you know, and I feel like this is expanding on, on that. But you have to learn how to keep your thoughts in the present, how to meditate, how to um, kind of tap into that more... Um, inspired thinking right because we've got beautiful minds we have it, it can happen but it happens when we're relaxed right not when we're over analyzing so let your mind you know learn how to meditate and learn how to just follow like let the thoughts flow right because it, meditation doesn't have to be just totally nothing at all but it's about not going down that path, right? Not following that path and, um, you know, getting into the analyzation part of it, but just watching, watching the thoughts. I do want to read the Imagine card. You know, I feel like this is, you know, the thinking and the ima thinker and imagine are both very um, intertwined here. But, and they came out together. Hmm. Okay, turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning imagery and feelings, creativity, and then we have illusions. And all of those apply to you, I think. <laughs> Who do you want to be? What do you need to believe in believe in order to have the life you want? You were gifted with the power to imagine. If you can dream it, you can create it. This is the time when your imagination is the key to manifesting the life you desire. Spend time daydreaming, fashioning a vision board to help you see your goals, or meditating. Meditating. Uh, allow the power of your creativity to deliver images of what feeds your soul. Then allow your feelings to mingle with your inspirations and imagine these things being real right now. Then repeat. What you imagine will become your belief and soon you will see these things come to pass in the outer world as if by magic. So yeah, and you know, I feel like what I'm getting here is you know, yes, imagine what you want to be. Imagine what you want to create. Imagine, you know, like, what interests you? You know, what really gets your mind going? And then kind of have a meditation session kind of focused on that. And just let, see what, you know, even try some um, uh, automatic writing, perhaps. But just like let the thoughts flow, just watch them and see, you know, which one really lights you up. And then, you know, it, and keep on going down that road and just kind of letting the thoughts flow. You know, I, I see this guardian at the gate. It's like, you know, these thoughts flowing even in from the universe. Right. I think this is a new start, but I, I'm just seeing that. I'm seeing, you know, and that look these kind of mimic each other even look at that it's gorgeous love it all right let's get some tarot let's get some tarot on this For the Collective of Gemini, please. For the Collective of Gemini, regarding the full moon, it's Cancer, coming on January 10th, 2020. Okay. For Gemini, please. All right. Ready? To 
two of wands, the queen of wands, the fool, the ten of wands, the star. All right. <clears throat> so a lot of fire energy here. So, yeah, here's this, you know, idea, I feel, is what he's holding in his hands. And I'm even, like, I notice this hand, like, someone making an offer. And it's like, they're wanting to trade. Trade this stick for that idea. <laughs> I'll give you this rod if you hand me that idea you're holding there. But yeah, I feel like um, this idea is, um, it holds a lot of power, right? You know, this is, and this is that decision to kind of like go through the gate here, this new start. Um, but I feel like this idea is really like going to... Um, it holds a lot of power. It's it's it, it has the possibility of bringing in some real abundance for you, um, because and then we have the Queen of Rods here. So this is you like really stepping into that um, confident, um, mesmerizing. It comes it comes to my is the word that's coming into my head. Um, so, so you're like, you're mesmerizing right now. People are just drawn to you. You're really like that confidence is shining, the sensuality, um, spirituality. Yeah. You're just, you, you know what you want and you're really owning, you're owning yourself. Um, and putting on that, you know, that comp that kind of, you know you're presenting yourself to the world right you're you're confident that this is like more of that energy than the than the thinker right so you're kind of um putting on a bit of a face I'm not saying this isn't genuine but and i might be kind of projecting on this a little bit right because I'm more of the thinker. I'm not, you know, the, um, socialite, right? And I'm feeling a kind of social energy here, especially with the fool, like, you know, that guardian at the gate. Yeah. Just, you know, stepping through into this new, um, place, this new way of being, that um you're you're uncomfortable you know you're not used to but you're you're going in with confidence um then we have this ten of wands here there there is you know a bit of a burden perhaps it isn't necessarily all that comfortable but you're putting yeah that's why i said you're putting on a face it isn't necessarily all that comfortable for you um But I'm drawn to the feathers in their hats. You know, that that's very airy, right? <laughs> and that's those thoughts. Um, and you might be weighing yourself down. This one has two. You're you're trying to talk yourself out of it. You're you're this is that burden of being someone that you're not. Yeah. And kind of, you know, that self-talk, Gemini, you're so good at it. You know, it's showing up as wands here because of all this um, energy, I think, that we're going to be feeling around that time. 
getting a drink of coffee. But this is the completion of the, a cycle. So you are going to put that down and then it's followed by the star. Healing, hope, being led, um, guided by spirit. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, we're going to get some uh, clarifiers here before I go into it any further. See what else cards have to say. This is for Gemini, for the collective of Gemini, please. Best messages for the highest good, for the collective of Gemini. Best messages for the highest good, please, regarding the full moon eclipse. There we go. Yeah, that's the... Okay, hold on. I'll get all these out before I start talking. Yep, there we go. Oh! <laughs> nice! Gemini, there we, there we are showing up in the reading. Beautiful. Aw. I just noticed something about that card I've never noticed before. Sorry, this is like skewed. I don't feel like I can fix it right now though. It'll drive me crazy. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I think that works. All right. Sorry, guys. I have a Capricorn moon. <laughs> All right. So we have this is it's called no thingness here. And it's typically in a typical deck. It's the Hierophant. But in this one, you know, that knowledge is gained from no mind. Right not having thoughts. So this is, I feel, you know, you getting, doing that meditation, right? Clearing your thoughts out and um, getting these inspirations through this no mind, right? Like clearing your thoughts. And personally, I do um, go into um, a trance and sometimes I'll get um, visions kind of as I'm, I'm coming out of it. So it's almost like dreams, but it's not, it's like flashes of things. And I remember them really clearly. Um, so yeah, that's curious. Um, but I feel like you are part of this, you know, the, what's happening with the Saturn Pluto conjunction is we're breaking through the barriers, right? We're reconstructing what the institutions are that is Hierophant. So this, you know, it's so wild and I've been, you know, really drawn to use this, even though I'm not completely, um, comfortable with it yet I mean like I'm, I'm getting the messages but I was really drawn to, to use this and I think you know there I, I see a lot of reasons why in it <laughs> but this one's a big one because we're redefining the Hierophant and you guys are going to be part of that yeah okay then I feel like this Three of Cups is what this is. And 
these ladies that they're you know the wind is blowing right this change is coming in um it's raining and they're just dancing in the rain just enjoying the winds of change <laughs> and we are a mutable sign so um you know i see this queen of wands as you like really like being comfortable you know that's it you're um you're confident, right? You're really shining in this um, changing uh, what's the word? It, it, this change, changing energy, these these changing times. Um, yeah. Gemini is at home with change. I mean, it's not like it's the we crave it. Well, yeah. I mean, actually sometimes we do. <laughs> But yeah, we're we're at home with it. It's fine with us, you know. And then here we have <clears throat> the fool, the zero, full of possibility and transformation. This is the death card, right? This is like um, the phoenix. You know, it's showing the phoenix, um, the sword. We have the balance, just everything. You're you've transformed. Something has ended and this is brand new baby you. <laughs> Getting ready to go through that gate and um, yeah, start this new way of being. And you know, then we move over here and we have comparison. This is the five of swords. And in this it's called comparison. And it's about, you know, <clears throat> you see here, this is the bamboo and, you know, a tree, like an oak, we'll say. And you just can't compare them. They're very different. They serve different purposes. Um, the bamboo is flexible. The bamboo, you know, there are certain things that bamboo is great for. An oak wouldn't, you know, you'd never think of using oak for, and vice versa. So, <clears throat> you know, it's, there's this burden of, am I good enough? Um, yeah, you've got to get out of your head. And you will. You're going to put down that burden of comparing yourself to others because we're all different. We're all beautiful because we're different, right? We serve different purposes. And then the lovers is showing up underneath the star. And I'm really drawn to this heart here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can, if it's going to show up here. Yeah. Yeah. See, they're looking at each other here, and then they're kissing in the heart. And <clears throat> I think you, you know, with all these energies, and you all have had some um, twin flame stuff show up. I think that, you know, in your inside, you all are coming into union. You all are coming into balance. You're healing, um, especially the heart chakra right and you know this is kind of an underlying energy but you're moving toward um union with a soulmate divine counterpart what have you um yeah because you're healing yourselves you're really um coming into <clears throat> being comfortable with with who you are loving yourself being um in balance yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful, guys. Okay, we're going to get some closing guidance, and then we're going to look at the underlying energies. Miles, you better stay back, mister. You stay back. My cat's trying to get over here to me. You stay back. Okay, come on. Get over here. <clears throat> come on. <laughs>
All right, this is for the Collective of Gemini, please. Closing guidance for the Collective of Gemini. Best messages for the highest good regarding the full moon eclipse in Cancer occurring on January 10th, 2020. Closing guidance for Gemini. Closing guidance for Gemini, please. Closing guidance for Gemini, please. So we've got, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon, and work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So this is about this new start and the fears, the burdens that you're feeling with that. <clears throat> I feel like this is kind of um, I want to read the take time to breathe out I just dropped something okay. <clears throat> and I opened right to it <laughs> God, that keeps happening all right the intensity of the full moon has abated. Oh, nice. And what are we left with? That's what this card is asking you. It suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked, and it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time out to relax breathe. We can't be on all the time. <laughs> That's a Gemini. <laughs> That's so Gemini. Um, if you if you feel you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. Be honest with yourself if you feel bad about your current situation and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles. Mm -mm -mm. So um, one of the it says it's time for you to share your wisdom and experience with someone else. All right, so this is saying that after this full moon, whatever um, happens, whether it's good, you know, perhaps this um, break through the, this, you know, whatever, stepping through this gate, this idea that you have, <clears throat> saying to take some time to um, digest it, right? Take time to sit with it a little bit. Work through your fears, right? Don't just forge ahead thoughtlessly, you know, because sometimes that's what we do to try and um, deal with our fears. Um, it's saying actually, like, take a look at them, see what what's causing them, and, you know, really do some shadow work, not just, like, ignoring them and, and forging ahead, but taking time to work through them. Yeah, because that's going to have a lot longer lasting effect. And you're going to be a lot calmer as you move forward. Okay. Let's take a look at these underlying energies. Hmm. It will be the Retriever. And he talks about retrieving lost things round and round and this is about um, breaking out of karmic cycles mm 
what do you need to release? Hmm. The Knight of Pentacles. And this is the Page of Cups. Understanding in this deck. And it's a very, it's a very airy sign for a uh, cups card, you know, with the birds here. And it's been locked inside, right? Or it thinks it has. And I feel like that's what you need to release. Um, is, are these feelings of being stuck, the, the patterns that we have. Huh. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm just really amazed by, you know, how um, much air is in that page of cups. Um, it is about communication, so I guess that makes sense, right? The pages are typically about communication. Um, but this one is called understanding, right? Um, and it'll be the retriever. I mean, look at this, you know, once again, it's very, um, similar. It's about like retrieving lost items, lost dreams, lost knowledge. Oh gosh. Wow. That just came to me. I've never thought that before. Yeah, you guys, I feel like some of you out there, this isn't going to be for everybody, but you're really, um, you're, you're gaining access to this, in this nothingness, you're gaining access to ancient unknown knowledge, maybe even, um, past life information. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. And this is going to help you break out of those karmic cycles. And this is, you know, that taking it slow, taking it slow. Don't be in a big rush, guys. Everything is unfolding as it should. Um, there might be something, you know, I get drawn to this. There might be some things you need to release in order to, um, be, and I feel like this is kind of, you know, a double meaning, right? As the Page of Cups might be um, some kind of communication, right? Because the lovers, um, that's Gemini. Um I could definitely see some communication here that leads to healing, um, understanding. But take everything slow, okay? All right. I think that's all that I feel the need to say about this, Gemini. I hope that it resonated. I hope it helps. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. If it does, I'm sending you love. I'm sending you, you oh, fives. Just wanted to point out <laughs> real quick. <laughs> we got the fives going on. Um, yeah, another one too. So yeah, there's a lot of change going on, guys. But remember this, stay lighthearted. You guys are, you know, probably going to have um, one of the easiest times with it anyway. We're airy, right? <laughs> we go with the flow. All right, much love, Gemini. Um, next week, we're going to be doing the um, Venus going into Pisces reading. So uh, definitely subscribe so that you get notified. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>